Um, welcome everyone to our 11th and our last session of our Sterling Core Values Leadership Series. My name is Laura McNeil. I am a Sterling Master Examiner. And um, just to provide a little summary, each of these 11 sessions in the series was designed to highlight one of the Sterling Core Values in a seven minute leadership brief followed by a Q&A session. Um, core, core values are defined as, um, as, as areas that drive what matters for an organization. Core values characterize organizational beliefs and behaviors, and they are the practices that we use or we should be using every day in everything that we do. Um, today's core value for today's session is systems perspective featuring Sterling board member Roland Martinez. Roland is the Deputy Director of Florida Department of Health in Broward County. He is pretty busy lately with COVID and Omnicom and all of those great things. Um, but before he starts, as a reminder, um, please submit questions through chat so that when Roland finishes with his briefing, we can tee those up for, for our discussion. Um, Roland, are you ready to take it away? Sure am, Laura. Thank you for that, 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 that introduction. And hello, everyone, and, and, and welcome to the, the, the 11th, the last of, of, all of, these, uh, of all of these presentations with regards to uh, the core values in, in the Sterling process. I hope that everybody's had a, has, has gotten something out of it at some point, and I hope that you get something out of it today. So let's, uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, having a little trouble. There we go. All right. And so here we are. We begin with the uh, with, with Roland, you're muted. Can't hear you. Hello. Oh no. Of course. We can hear you now. You you can? You now. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Must be something on, on on some other end. I've got everything showing here. All right. So here we go with, with systems perspective. Um, so we're looking here at the Sterling Wheel. Um, you know, each one of the other, each one of the other core values kind of serve as a, as, as a spokes of that wheel um, with the criteria itself acting kind of like the rim. And then finally, the, 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 the business results themselves kind of is the rubber that meets the road. But in the center of all of this is the, the systems perspective of this, of, of this entire, of this entire system. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. So let's just begin with um, what, what we have with um, our, our system. Okay, so a system, I'm sorry, a system, uh, as basic definition, is an assemblage of objects with, uh, that are united in some way to be able to interact with each other, some form of interdependence um, to be able to create something, right, to be able to do something. And so you see this picture on the right side, on the left side of the screen. Um, it's got some mechanism associated with it. Each one of those things has something, uh, some function that it performs a little bit different than everything else. Um, and all of those together create whatever this thing is trying to do. And so uh, a system itself has, a system itself has, can be multiple things. It can be natural, it can be man-made, it can be physical, it can be conceptual, it can be closed open, it can be static or dynamic. So all of those things um, can encompass a system at some point. But the thing that's most important to understand about this systems perspective is something that Aristotle said, which is that that's the, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And all of us have heard that at some point in time or another. And so systems perspective as a whole, as a, as a, as a core value, um, really kind of works in two dimensions. And the first dimension of that is, is really managing the individual components of your system 
of, of your organization as a unified whole, where, where not everything, where there is no one most important thing, that all of them work in concert with each other to be able to produce a specific result. And then the other piece of the puzzle is really, the other dimension is managing um, your organization within a context of the interconnected ecosystem of organizations. That means that everything's linked together and that's, that's something that we find. And so you'll see on this side of the screen with the picture is, is that this, this mechanism is a watch obviously, but it, it's designed to tell time, it's, but it's not just designed to tell time in a particular way. It's designed to tell time in multiple ways. And it gives you an idea of how those systems together, all those individual parts come together to be able to create that one, that one thing that you wanna create. And so this organizational interconnectedness is important. And so what we end up with, with this, with, with managing the internal pieces of our organization, so our organization as a whole, um, really kind of depends on us being able to do that, understanding that all of those systems are interdependent. Uh, and so we're really kind of looking at three things. Um, we're looking at synthesis or understanding that your organization is a whole. Um, we're looking at alignment, which is consistently making sure that your organizational linkages are, are all moving in the same direction to have a purpose. Um, that includes your plans, your process, your measures, your actions, and then your integration, right, which is, which is full interconnectivity, where everything is working in concert, where one process leads to another, and there really is no space between them. I kind of like to think about that as the barrel of monkeys concept, where if you pull out when you were playing as a kid and you pulled out the barrel of monkeys, other things came with it and they were all interdependent on each other in order to play the game. Okay, and so um, great quote here, no one can whistle a symphony. It takes an orchestra to play it. And that's true of organizations that you need every part of it to work in order to be able to achieve what it is that you wanna achieve. And then with regards to um, that interconnectedness outside the organization, and it's something that's really kind of been exemplified since we've started the pandemic, um, is pretty much the same things. There's still the synthesis, there's still the alignment, there's still the integration, but understanding that you work inside of this ecosystem with other organizations, your suppliers, your partners, your customers, your communities, your collaborators, um, your, your competitors, they can teach you something as well. And so interacting with all of those components is critically important for the survival of your organization. Um, we've, we've understood that during the pandemic, we see all of the supply chain issues that we've been having associated with that. Not only that, but, but some of the interactions that we have with some of our community partners, they wax and wane with what goes on inside of the pandemic. Um, and we see that, that we need those, those synergies to be able to achieve what it is that we want to achieve. And so here at, at the Florida Department of Health in Broward County, there's two systems that we utilize that, are, that probably exemplify systems perspective more than anything else. And the first one is this work process design system uh, that, that allows us to create all of the systems of the organization, taking into account, making sure that we don't miss all of the systems in the organization that we have. And we, all of them have their place, all of them have their, their purpose. And we make sure that we're getting input from all of those systems at any given time to be able to create what it is that we wanna create. And then our performance management system, which informs all of these work process design systems, which allows us to, to know whether or not we're achieving what it is that we want to achieve. But, but more than that, because it's linked to the outside world with our map processes and our community processes for input. Um, and it works itself all the way down to our individual employees' performance in the organization. All of those things are inextricably linked and we manage them as a cohesive piece, as a cohesive whole to be able to achieve what we want to achieve here at the Florida Department of Health in Broward County. And so finally, um, if I had to leave you with anything, if you didn't learn anything else, uh, these are the pieces that you got to walk away with, um, is that systems perspective is, the, is at the core of what the Sterling performance criteria for excellence is, okay? There is, that's the hub of the wheel. It, 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 it allows everything else to happen. Um, your organization should be viewed as a unified whole. Uh, and also, as part of an interconnected ecosystem. So a super system in some cases, a subsystem as others, but it's always in relation to other pieces of the puzzle. And then uh, no single part of your system is more important than any other. And then finally, the sum of individual components is not as important as the products of all of their interactions. And so with that, I'll take, I'll turn it back over to Laura and I'll take any questions you may have.
Wow, that was really, really good, Roland. I absolutely love your graphics. I think those visuals really tell a story in and of themselves. And I love the focus on, um, you know, the underlying theme of really looking at it as a whole, because that's what we are as a whole organization. So um, as usual, I did, this time I took a lot of notes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over my summary notes real quick with you, if you don't mind. Um, Start with the assembly of objects that are unified by some form of regular interaction. Mm -hmm. Focus on managing all the components of your organization as a unified whole, which then comprises the system, right? I, again, I really love that whole unified whole. Um, let's see, this requires managing your organization within the context of an interconnected ecosystem of organizations. Focus on three components, synthesis, alignment, and integration. Seek to understand the organization as a part of a larger whole, interrelationships, including partner and supplier requirements. And then lastly, um, success requires a performance management system to ensure monitoring of your system's perspective health. And again, I really love that, uh, that last visual where you had the side-by-side -side with the systems laid out. I thought that was quite telling. Thank um, you. Did I get everything? I think I did. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a, that's a good summary. Okay. All right, so I am looking in the queue and I do have a couple of questions that were teed up previously. What is a good approach for identifying where systems break, system breakdowns or improvements exist? What is a good approach for identifying where system breakdowns or improvements exist? Okay, so I, I really believe that you need to have a, a really comprehensive performance management system. Uh, that's one of the things that we've designed here to be able to understand whether or not the systems in the organization are functioning the way that they should be functioning. And something that I didn't say, but it's really important is, is that that system requires that there's communication across all, all, all sections of the organization in order to make this happen. So that there isn't any siloing effect inside of the organization. Um, that helps to not only identify where there may be issues inside, um, but it may actually help with regards to someone who may have had those issues going on before and can help pollinate some of that, um, some of that learning inside of the organization. So I really believe that that you've got to have your hand, you know, you can't, none of us can, none of us can watch every single thing that's going on in our organizations. And so that's an impossibility to see everything that's going on as a leader. But what you can do is, is that you can set up a, a performance management system in such a way that you can, it can, it can tell you what's going on and not tell you what's, what's wrong, but tell you that something is wrong. And then you can go ahead and do a deeper dive with regards to that. Do you happen to have any good references for performance management systems or, you know, I don't know, balance scorecards, something like that? You know, here, here we use a system that I'm sure that a lot of people are familiar with, which is, um, which is active strategy. I, active strategy isn't an, an active system out there in the world any longer. Um, we were able to purchase it to be able to do that. Um, there are other systems that, 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 that are out there that, that you can utilize um, if I'm thinking about them, uh, things, I mean, you know, the world is run on spreadsheets on its, on its foundation. I mean, that's, that's probably the single most powerful thing. And then along with that associated with it or any databases that, that you can create. Uh, but, but there are, there are, you know, performance dashboard systems that don't do what active strategy does for us, which is really aggregate data and does the analysis for us. Those are things that still have to be created by other folks. But there are there are databases that are out there. They're slipping my mind now as far as which ones are which ones are there. But I'm sure that uh, that somebody in the chat can put some in um, with regards to that. But um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at with regards to to that particular issue. Okay. All right. Well, we're coming up on time, mm -hmm. so uh, I don't think we have enough time, and I don't see anything in the queue. So. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up, Roland. Thank you okay. so much for everything you've done. Um, as a reminder for everyone who's joined, please check in at floridasterling.com.
We are posting additional content, and there'll be some additional content from today's session there, including our series summary notes. On January 11th, at the same time, we will be presenting a core values putting it all together session. This session is designed to help leaders apply the core value concepts in their own organization. So I hope you all join us at that time. Until then, I, along with others on the, on the call from the Sterling office and the council on the board, we all wish you a very joyous and a happy holiday. I hope you all find peace and enlightenment during the holiday season, and I hope you stay safe. Thank you once again for choosing to spend time with us and time with us again today. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Thanks so much.